welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. I am the Goose. Glad to have you back. We have a lot of interesting things to talk about today. Boxing, oh boy. Uh, but before we get going, let's uh, start with a sip of coffee, shall we? My coffee, as you know, very strong, just like my opinion. I've got some creamer in there to make it sweet, just like me. Mmm, okay. Uh, it looks like Manny Pacquiao is going to fight Keith Thurman. Should be a great fight. But uh, first, I want to talk to you about uh, whether I know anything about boxing or not. First of all, I love your comments. Pretty strong comments. I'm a big boy. I can take it, okay? Um, but try and keep the language clean, okay? Uh, do I know anything about boxing? Well, I am... Uh, I don't claim to be uh, the world's expert, but I've been watching boxing for a long time. I remember seeing Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, uh, and George Foreman, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler. I remember watching all the greats back then and all the way through the day. So I've seen a lot of boxing in my day. So uh, I'd like to think uh, I know a few things, okay? Uh, now, uh, you... Uh, you uh, admirers of Errol Spence Jr., good for you. I think I mentioned in my last video, he's a great young fighter. Gave him credit. But I stand by my opinion that Pacquiao would uh, have an easy time with him if they fought. So that's my opinion. I stick by it. Uh, now, what about uh, Keith Thurman? Keith Thurman is, uh, like Errol Spence, an undefeated champion. He's 29-0 uh, and 0 with 22 KOs. He hasn't, uh, well, let me, let me back up. He was involved in a, a serious car crash about two years ago. So he took a couple years off, uh, injured his elbow. Uh, nothing too serious. But he made a comeback fight not long ago uh, against, uh, uh, who was it, uh, Josecito Lopez. Now, uh, Lopez is a, a good fighter. He's not, you know, uh, top of the line by any stretch. So it surprised me. I know Thurman had to work off a little rust. I understand that. But Lopez hurt him bad in the seventh round. Hurt him bad. And he, it took him a round and a half to recover. To his credit, he did. And he won. And then immediately called on Manny Pacquiao. Okay, fine. Uh, but he's there's a little weakness there. Uh, all fighters have weaknesses. Uh, Thurman's nickname is One Time. And uh, he's a big puncher. He's, like I said, he's got 22 knockouts and uh, 29, actually 30 fights. One was a no decision. I think I had headbutt something of that nature. But, but Thurman has not had a KO since 2014. So you want to rip Pacquiao for going for nine years without a KO, and he had one recently, by the way. Well, same for uh, Keith Thurman. It's been four and a half years. So... You know, the big puncher, is he a big puncher still? I don't know. We'll see. But he didn't show it against Lopez. Uh, just like, oh, by the way, let me back up a second, too. Uh, for all you Errol Spence Jr. fans, uh, yeah, he, uh, he looked great against uh, Mikey Garcia. Garcia's a lightweight, okay? And a great fighter, but he's a lightweight. And uh, Spence couldn't put him away. Didn't hurt him one bit. He won convincingly, made him look bad, but he did not hurt him in the least bit. So don't tell me that Errol Spence Jr. could beat up or knock out Manny Pacquiao. Wake up. Hey, have a little coffee, a little extra caffeine. Come on. That ain't going to happen. Errol Spence Jr. ain't going to hurt Manny Pacquiao. Um, great fighter, though. I stick to that. But Keith Thurman, I'm not so sure he could hurt Pacquiao either. Um, we'll see. It looks like it's going to happen in July. Uh, and uh, I don't want to hear, I never make excuses for any of Pacquiao losses. And if Keith Thurman loses to Manny Pacquiao, I don't want to hear anybody say, well, he's, he's still working off the rust after two. No, I don't want to hear that. He's, he's had a warm-up fight. He's not old. He's 30. He's in his prime. So I don't want to hear that. So what can I say, first of all, uh, I need to remind you about Manny Pacquiao. Who is Manny Pacquiao? Oh, he's 40 years old. He's old. Okay. Yeah, he's 40. He's one of the greatest fighters in the history of the sport. He's an eight-division world champion. And uh, you want to criticize, well, he there were catchweight this and catchweight that. Okay. 
He's a five division lineal champion. Nobody's ever done that. And I think I mentioned this before. He's uh, knocked out six undefeated fighters. And uh, he has defeated 21, 22 world champions. Think about that. No one else, no one in the history of boxing has ever done what Manny Pacquiao has done. So uh, uh, all the criticism of Pacquiao about his, uh, his resume falling on deaf ears. I don't want to hear any of that. You want to talk about him being a little older, 40 years old? Okay, I'll take that. You want to criticize him and say uh, he can be uh, defeated because of his style? That's fine, too. Or he's slowed down a little bit? Fine. If you want to make an argument about anybody beating Manny Pacquiao, bring me some facts. I don't want to hear, um, you know, nonsense. I want to hear facts, okay? Oh, and what about Floyd Mayweather? Well, you got me. <laughs> We're all wishing upon a star. Uh, you know, everybody wants to see Pacquiao take on Mayweather again. Everybody except Floyd Mayweather. You know why? Because uh, he's smart. He's, uh, Floyd Mayweather knows when Manny Pacquiao fights anybody a second time, it's, uh, it's going to be a, uh, uh, a real uphill battle. I don't think Pacquiao's ever lost a rematch, not the first rematch. Uh, look it up, uh, many fights in his, in his uh, resume. Pacquiao is very dangerous at a rematch. And again, he's a very smart fighter, and his corner is extremely smart, and they know what to look for. And uh, nothing prepares you for a fighter like having fought them once before. Let's not forget, they're on the same team now. I don't want to say, I don't, I don't know if he's Floyd as Manny's boss or not, but they're, they're in cahoots. Uh, so I'm still hoping, I'm not going to make a prediction that they're going to fight again. I'm hoping they will, and I think it's a reasonable uh, assumption that they will. When? I don't know. But uh, I still uh, think that Pacquiao can beat him uh, because Pacquiao is one of the all-time greats. Pacquiao's healthy. He wasn't when they fought the last time. And uh, there are other things behind the scenes that you guys know about. The shot that he couldn't get, his shoulder injury, the uh, injection that Floyd did get that was illegal. Oh, I'm sorry. I said I wasn't going to talk about that. <laughs> but there are many reasons Pacquiao lost that first flight, uh, fight. I'm not going to make excuses saying he was robbed. He wasn't. Floyd beat him, hands down, uh, very uh, uh, very convincingly. Um, you know, Floyd's one of the greatest fighters ever. I'm sorry, one of the greatest boxers ever, not a fighter. So what will happen if Pacquiao fights uh, Keith Thurman? Uh, um, it should be a good fight. You know, Thurman, like I said, he's undefeated. Uh, one thing uh, he has shown a weakness for, and that's body shots. And Pacquiao will go to the body. Uh, Pacquiao's a smart fighter, and he has a very smart corner. Boo Boy is a very intelligent trainer. Freddie Roach is a Hall of Famer. Justin Fortune is top-notch uh, strength and conditioning coach. He's got some smart cookies in his, his corner, and uh, they'll do their homework, and they'll know where to attack Keith Thurman, and body shots is one of them. Uh, also, uh, one thing Pacquiao can take advantage of, he's left-handed. Uh, Keith Thurman hasn't fought against a left-hander since 2015, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a big weapon, no doubt about it. Pacquiao, uh, I don't know if he's quicker, uh, quicker puncher than uh, Thurman. He's very fast with his hands, but he's nobody's quicker than Pacquiao on his feet, and that's half the game of boxing he is moving around uh, offensively and defensively. As you know, uh, Pacquiao defeats his opponents with speed and angles, and he's able to. He's fought many fighters who are taller and have greater reach. He knows how to get inside and land the big punches. And uh, as I said before, and you guys know this if you've watched Pacquiao fight or if you've read anything about him, he not only wears his opponent out after just a few rounds, but he wears them out psychologically. It, it takes a lot out of you trying to keep up to this guy physically, but it wears on you psychologically. Should be a good fight. I'm not going to say Pacquiao will knock Keith Thurman out. You never know. Uh, but uh, Pacquiao will 
will win convincingly. I have no doubt about it. And again, bring me your comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, even if you think uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, well, maybe so, but bring me the facts, okay? That's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose. Uh, love to have you join us. Oh, by the way, we're on Facebook. Check us out. We'll talk to you next time. Take care.